what is the difference between at the rate component at the rate repository at the service and at the rate controller annotations in spring or spring boot so let's see a bullet points about these one component at the rate component annotation repository and service and controller so So at the rate component, it is a generic annotation for any spring managed component. So you can say this component annotation is coming at the top in here. Inside that we have this repository, inside that we have service and inside that we have controller. That means this is a whenever they are a way to create an instance by spring itself so whenever we are creating any class in a spring environment so instance needs to be created right so when to create those instances these are one of the ways we put these annotations at the rate component at the rate repository at the rate service or at the rate controller component at the rate component is a very generic annotation okay if there are classes that are not that are not coming to category of repository service or controller we usually use at the rate component annotations basically you can say the utility classes that needs to be created as an instance so we use at the rate component there repository annotation is more related with the data so so it it represents that DAO layer basically so whenever that database interaction is there and we have to write multiple methods around that to query to interact with the database so for all those classes we use at the rate repository annotation the benefits that it gives like it also provides the database related exception translation like data access exception and all that is implemented and taken care by the spring container itself Coming to the at the rate service, whenever we talk about the business logic service layer, so whenever any class that we have business logic implemented, all those classes goes under the at the rate service annotation. At the rate controller annotation, so this is the first class that takes care of the web requests actually wherever they are coming. So whenever we have those classes, we annotate that class as a at the rate controller so they are handling the web request they are like returning the data to the caller and all that okay and if you if i explain it more way so mvc controller mvc architecture is there right so model view controller so we have controller layer we have service or business layer then we have DAO layer basically so this is the at the rate controller this is at the rate service and this is at the rate repository and whatever classes are not coming into this category they are going to the at the rate component generic stereotype annotations there let me show you this in the program itself so this is one of the service that i created initially uh, that is id master so uh, so if you see this one coming to the main one this is how the project structure looks like right so main we have this id master and this is the id master application in here so in here we have this controller this is the controller or rest controller both are similar basically rest controller is something that is being used for the rest microservices controller if we be used at the rate controller that means it is taking care of the web basically so this is also there right so if both of them are there moving to the service second annotation that is this at the rate service we have all the business logic in here that is going to be in here and the last one that we have repository basically so yeah at the rate repository so basically extends gpa repository so this here annotation was not there but yeah this this is in here that can be used at the rate repository annotations in here okay the last one is the component annotation so whenever we create any utility class or anything basically we can create the at the rate component annotation with that as well so even if even if i use at the rate component here this is not going to complain anything but the benefits that it gives that we have data dao layer in here 
we won't be able to get it right so if we want more detail about these annotations in here uh, right so go to the repository annotation in here so with all of the repository service and controller annotation you will see that at the rate component annotation is there so whatever is provided by at the rate component is automatically inherited with these repository annotations okay and if you want more details these are the different classes their implementations that can be seen in here okay so going to the service annotation if i show this one in here also at the rate component can be seen in here the same way that we have controller if i show you the controller this controller annotation is there if we go to the controller at the rate component annotation is there and if you go to the at the rate component it is like uh, all the annotations related uh, annotations are there but not any spring or any parent is there so component is the core or basic annotations there so that's it about these basic differences that are there i hope this is clear to you now and you will be able to explain this very clearly i'll see you in the next one till then take care bye bye